And here it is YouTube, my 2023 7x14 enclosed trailer tandem axle. 35, 100 pound, I believe, axle um, enclosed trailer. Same logo as last year and the year prior. This is my third season with this 7x14 trailer setup. Going to keep everything the same, not going to change anything. So let's take a look inside. We'll start from the front. As you can see from my prior video, nothing has changed that much. Still the same dual shelves, front, top, and bottom. Um, same tools down the bottom, pretty much the same. I haven't changed much. I haven't changed that much up here either. Still the same thing. Kept the safety kit, the fire extinguisher, little odds and ends tool kit here. Two gas containers, two gallon, five gallon. That's the mix. Some mixed containers and stuff like that. Bought myself a new hat here to help uh, eliminate the sun off the shoulders and around the neck area. I still have old timer here, still working well. On the left side, or excuse me, on the front here, you'll see my, still the same thing with my rakes on the front. So I have the ladder there, add an accelerator. Haven't used it much, but just use it for small things, clean up the odds and ends, because I do not bag leaves. A little saw here, maybe use it once or two, twice, but it's just, it's out of sight, out of mind. Steel trimmer combi set. It's a 90 yards older model. I just put the blower attachment on there. So when I'm done in a day, just grab it and I can blow everything out pretty low. Even if the, the mowers and everything are in here, whoops, almost showed you the mower. Same chainsaws as last year. The MS-170, two of those. The HS-45 hedge trimmer. The steel BR430, several years old, still good blower, lightweight, easy to use. Up top, I have my two shovels here and their clips. Oops, it's this way. And a spade and a flathead. Cones up and out of the way. I do have a cone caddy, but it's up there. I don't use it. I'm trying to keep as much off the floor as possible. So I have the two hedge trimmers. I believe this one is... Um, my second season with me, the HL100K, runs very well. Also, the steel HL94R articulate straight edge. At the bottom here, I have my, I think it's Coleman or whatever it is, um, sprayer. Bought that from a uh, gardening store, home uh, Ace or somewhere like that. Um, I try to keep it halfway because it gets a little heavy when it's filled. I do want to invest in a, maybe a one gallon backpack spray, a gallon and a half um, electric sprayer. That has some green stuff in there, you know, environmental healthy stuff or whatever it is. That down here has, that's like a Roundup from Home Depot or Lowe's, one gallon electric sprayer. Spare tire, I actually have two spare tires. I have two flats, two days back to back. Amazing. Never happens, but it actually happened. First and second time I've ever had a flat. Haven't had it any since. Had a trailer for three years. And so I have two spares on here. And, you know. Now let's get to the right side coming in. Up top, I believe this is a 95 round string trim. A little smaller than the heavier stuff. But um, I went with this string trimmer. The string, excuse me, because it's round. It's lightweight. And it seems the trimmer runs a little bit more efficient when that trimmer line is on there versus something like this, which is a little abrasive. It's, I believe that's some kind of a ballistic, but here, you know, it's round. It flows through the air nice and smooth. The other one there goes up and down a lot. Um, it's a lot less taxing on your hand when you weed whack and use on that. It's not as durable as that, but for what I do every day, it's good enough. I don't need anything like that. That works just fine for me. Down here, we still have Old Faithful, our BR600 backpack blower. I've had that for maybe four or five years. Runs very well. This is a new edition of 2022. This is the BR 
800C with the side start. Very good thing to have. Um, don't have to put it down. If you shut it off, you just it's on your back. Just pull, crank. That's it. You know, that's still a good blower. Lightweight, a little heavier, but it's a very good blower. Also, that I have the BG86 blower down there. It's an older model. I've used it a handful of time, and I just won't take it out of the trailer. But for now, it's going to stay there where it's always is. On this side, we have the Green Touch four position trimmer rack. And on this rack, we have the FS94R, my go to trimmer. It's lightweight, good to use, a few years old. This is, uh, I believe, a year old. This is a FS91R, second backup trimmer that I use. This is the KM. 110R, combi system, stick edger with the Darwin grip. Darwin grip. <laughs> Down here we have my pole saw. I won't take it off again because I use this once or twice a week. It's an FS110R. This is a few years old. It's been with me for a long time. Great trimmer. And I didn't say anything about the the rack, this is a, also a green touch, two position rack. And there you have the enclosed trailer setup. Now what we're going with this year, we have had the sit down mowers for years. Mid last year, I decided to go to stand-ons. FS, excuse me, F Ferris Z1. 2020 model, I believe. Bad boy, 48, 2020 model. And good old Cadillac Faithful, right standard ZK, 52 inch. I'm gonna go in depth on another video about the difference between the stand-ons. 10 years old, I've had that mower for eight years, bought it used, and this mower has done and came a long way, have done a lot for me, and it got me where I am. So, next, what we'll be pulling, the package of real estate this year would be my 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi V8 5.7. It's lifted a little bit, a little high, but it lines up very well with the trailer. I have the drop hitches for the back to give um, Mr. Man over there a break. Won't get into that, but another time. But this is my 2022 trailer setup. Also added some LED lights, as you can see. Make the trailer nice and bright. I've painted all the walls, the left and right side, green. Floor look a little messy because of all the stuff I do in here outside you know other working on my mowers and stuff like that and spill some stuff but i do have sealer on the floor just like a thompson water sample like three or four coats down and here's my setup so thanks for looking make sure you subscribe and good luck with your 2023 landscape and lawn care season thanks and have a great season